Well, you know what? Today I have been thinking about all the things that are going on. And I actually was thinking about when I first heard about coronavirus and what my thoughts were, where my head went. And actually, Psalm 91 was the first uh, psalm or scripture that came to me. I was reminded that, you know what, God really is in control. I don't have to be afraid. I actually have um, Psalm 91 over my um, doorpost or in my home. It's right over the, my front door. So it's a reminder to me and to my family that we can always trust God. I um, must admit, when people were talking about you know, coronavirus, and I could see fear on people. I was just like amazed. I was thinking, well, wait a minute. What are we afraid of? What What about the God that we serve? What about who we are? And those were the types of things that were coming to my heart and my mind. But I'd like to read to you Psalm 91 um, out of the New Living Translation because this, to me, is one of the ones, one of the translations that I feel are uh, just really puts it in a nutshell and the way it explains it, it makes it very, very plain. I've even used this translation with our kids and um, they can understand it. So just want to read a part of it. Uh, starting in verse one, it says, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. You know, God is our refuge. He is our place of safety. We can always run into him. You know, it says that the righteous run into the name of the Lord and find shelter there. And so, um, according to this psalm, he's our place of safety. Verse 3 says, For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from every deadly disease or protect you from deadly diseases. So right there, there's my promise. I don't have to be concerned about coronavirus. I can put my trust in God. I can be assured that he's going to protect me from any deadly disease. It says in verse 4, He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His, promise, his faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrows that fly in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Now, this is one of my favorite parts of this. Though a thousand may fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. So this is God's promise to us. We can stand on the word of God. We can be assured that God will make his word good in our lives. And so I just want to encourage you today that no matter what you see, no matter what you hear, put your focus on him. Remind yourself of what God says, because what he says is totally, completely more powerful, more important than anything you'll hear on the news, anything you'll hear coming out of people's mouths. God's word is true. God's word is something that we can trust, we can count on. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be scared. We don't have to be, uh, you know, worried about this, or worried about that, trying to figure everything out. Be assured that the God who loves you, not only loves you, cares for you, knew this day was coming, already has a plan for you, already has it all worked out, but he needs you to keep your eyes on him and remind yourself that he's a big God and nothing is impossible with him. God bless you and have an amazing day.